Q1 in Zandvoort saw a couple of big names being eliminated due to traffic, and one of them was Aston Martin's Sebastian Vettel. He was impeded by the Haas duo of Nikita Mazepin and Mick Schumacher. Mazepin was the one who appeared to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mazepin was left seething in the wake of this event, and he's now explained why, and Mick responded, both while speaking to F1 TV. I'm your host Tyler, and first up on Formula World, Nikita Mazepin feeling effed off with Mick Schumacher. Mazepin began by explaining why he is annoyed. Well, I'm really annoyed to be honest because it should not have been that difficult with traffic. Because as the rules are within a Formula 1 team, one weekend you are the first car on track, the next weekend you are the second car. He then revealed how he had been chastised by the team for breaking this agreement in the past. This weekend was my turn to be the first car, and I've once, in Imola, overtaken the first car when I was the second car, and I got a bollocking from the team. He further suggested that this is the second time this has happened to him. And now this has happened to me the second time. My teammate overtakes me and bumps me into the traffic and Fs my last attempt in qualifying on purpose, so I'm not happy. He reiterated that this was deliberate from Mick. If you do it once and he didn't know about it, fine, but twice, that's deliberate. And I don't like when there's tension, it shouldn't be like that, there is no point. So, I am effed off. Mick, meanwhile, gave his side of the story. I don't know what Nikita is saying, I think at the end his crew didn't give him the message. I asked if I could overtake because my tyres were quite cold, and he usually does a lap that is a bit slower than mine, and I got the okay from the team and overtook accordingly. He signed off by suggesting that there is no need for drama. I think Lando Norris was between us, and I don't see a reason to make drama out of it. His lap didn't get ruined. We will discuss this internally, and Gunter will also say something. In my opinion, on our side, we didn't do anything wrong. Fast feed Alpha Tauri's Pierre Gasly has stated that it seems Red Bull are happy with the balance between Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen. I'm just paying attention to my job, and I want to perform as well as I can with the car I can get. We are currently fighting for 5th place against Aston Martin and Alpine, he added. I'm in a happy place right now, and if we take 5th place in the Constructors' Championship this season, it would mean a lot personally, Gasly specified. Aston Martin's team principal, Otmar Safnauer, has revealed that they have a 1 plus contract with Sebastian Vettel, and there's certain dates within the contract that they have to decide by. He added that those dates haven't come and gone yet, so it's just a normal process. It's nothing complicated, and it's not conditional upon anything. We like Sebastian, he likes us, and now it's time to talk about what we're going to do next year, Otmar surmised. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has divulged that they will announce the decision regarding Alpha Tari's 2022 lineup in Monza. Alfa Romeo team principal Fred Vasseur has explained that their preference for an experienced driver has nothing to do with the changes in the regulations. I would say it has more to do with the limited number of test days. We do have to keep that in our mind in our driver selection, he added. We don't have to make a decision yet. Antonio Giovinazzi still has some races to go and is in a good position, Vasseur surmised. Formula E world champion Nick De Vries has pointed out that in sports, there is always something going on and it is always uncertain, especially in their world. At the end of the day, it's all about your performance. He's very grateful for the opportunities he's had. He's also flattered by Toto's words. You could say that he's closer to a Formula 1 opportunity than ever before. There is a lot of talk about it now and he's being linked to different teams in Formula 1, Nick concluded. Was Mick Schumacher in the wrong during qualifying at Zandvoort? Head over to our community page to vote in the poll and let us know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out our others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.